So sometimes when we are asked to graph a line, we're given the line in what's called standard form, right, instead of y-intercept form. And that's when x and y both start on the same side. I think this should be, I'm not sure if that's an equal sign or not, but there we go. Now it's clearly an equal sign. I think it was before, but the lines were really close together. So if we are starting with a line in standard form, what do we have to do to graph it? Right? Because we know we can't really graph it if x and y are on the same side. So our first step right, is going to be to isolate y or get y on its own. Right now, y is sharing a side with minus 3x. So to move that minus 3x to the other side, we're going to add x to both sides of our equation, or add 3x more specifically. Just adding 1x won't uh, help us too much. Right. And now we've got an equation in that y equals mx plus b form. So we can find some points, right? If we make our table of values, make it over here so I have enough space. All right, we know we need two points to plot a line. Some easy numbers, right? Let's make x equal 0. And we can also make x equal 1. So when x equals 0, right, 3 times 0, 0. So we're left with a 2, which we also know just from y equals mx plus b, that that's going to be our y-intercept. And then if x is 1, we've got 3 times 1, which is 3 plus 2 is 5. So we're going to have points right at the ordered pairs 0, 2, and 1, 5. Put those on our graph. And then we can go ahead and draw our line. We're going to pretend it's a little straighter than that. I'm doing my best here. But the key is, and when you're in Alex and you plot your points, then you'll get a really nice straight line because Alex is super good about that. Right. Isolate Y, find your ordered pairs, plot your points right, in that order.